An introduction to process oriented psychology or process work as it gets called is really started as an approach to psychotherapy, right? Because if you go back to the, the very core cool principles is that all humans somehow based on the context they live in and who they are and where they are in the world have a preferred way or a preferred identity that they wish to express themselves or to be, to be seen in the world. Now that identity, once you have a preferred way, the second thing that happens is that there's a whole bunch of skills and ways of being that fall into the background. Now, that would be fine for most every day, but as soon as you challenge, you put in a situation that demands new and extra skills or new ways of being, that that challenge to your identity creates this internal, sometimes external conflict of how to grow and develop. So process oriented psychology is a process between your preferred sense of self and that which is demanded of you either internally based on who you want to grow and become or externally based on the environmental pressures, the relationship pressures, the community you live in and what they need of you and how you interact and grow and develop collectively. So this is the bare bones of process oriented psychology and the approach is done, works with individuals it works on body symptoms and people's dreams as per most psychotherapies. But the growth and development and the uniqueness is being able to see also that even in a relationship between two people, there's a dream of how they would prefer to be as a couple or as two people in a relationship, a preferred way. There's an issue of principles that need to be supported, ways of being that are incredibly important and ways of interacting that are trying to happen. So similarly, that same approach is done with relationships. And then as you grow into a larger community, a community is trying to grow and develop and change its way of operating and ways of being based on conflicts within the community or external pressures coming on or crisis, even natural disasters, wars, crises. So this is the process-oriented psychology approach. Thank you.